the launching of a team to implement the recommendations of a task force on revamping the MRA a business has been called off. The Ministry of Agriculture has pushed the ceremony to Wednesday even as details about the committee membership remain scanty. Some of those invited to the ceremony, which had been scheduled for Thursday last week at Kilimo House in Nairobi, said the event was cancelled at the 11th hour. Mr. Matthew Isido, the interim head of the MRAE a directorate at the Agriculture and Food Authority said the ministry had postponed the function. It was not immediately clear if the ministry would appoint new members to the implementing committee or retain those who were in the task force had, among others, Agriculture P.S. Richard Lassiem, who was the co-chair alongside Jeffrey Nkrumwenda. David Ntawa served as the vice chairman. Former IGM MP Joseph Mutria was also in the task force. Mutria on Sunday said he had not been invited to the Thursday meeting. IGM North MP Morama Oka said it would be inappropriate to have those who served in the task force sit in the implementing committee. It will be clear conflict of interest for those who produced the report to be the same ones implementing it, said Moore. Muru Senator Mitha Kalentri accused the Ministry of locking out Muru leaders from the process of establishing the Implementation Committee. It looks like the Ministry's mandarins have taken it upon themselves to carry out an activity that is important to this region without the participation of elected leaders. We shall see how it pans out, said Lynchry. The Nyambin Ray, a traders' association, withdrew a case it had filed at the High Court in Maru, accusing President Uru Kenyatta of appointing the Ray Industry Task Force without consulting stakeholders. The task force was formed in 2016.